So when developing uh, Opposing Force here, Gearbox, instead of developing the Deathmatch maps internally uh, with their own people, they decided to contact various well-known people within either the industry proper or who had just been associated in, like, modding communities and stuff like that. You know, people that knew how to make Deathmatch maps, basically, or seemed to have the kind of knowledge to do so. And for our first map here, Blue Meanie, I didn't mean to click out of the game like this, uh, they contacted someone called Richard Carlson, or technically more the full name Richard Zedian Carlson, who had worked uh, prior on the game Load Runner 2 and was currently at Looking Glass uh, Studios working on the game Thief 2. Uh, they say that this is their first attempt at a Half-Life map, which is pretty impressive because it's a solid map. Um, very unique, too, as we're about to see here. It's The full name of the map is supposed to be Blue Meanie Base, so I don't know why it's just called Blue Meanie. It's not very even that blue. I mean, Googling this map's a pain because you're just going to get the Blue Meanies from uh, Yellow Submarine, basically. But as you can see, what's unique about this map is that you start with the Barnacle and the Long Jump. So, a lot of maps have you, obviously, like, to start completely from scratch, I think, with either the wrench or the crossbow. But this one starts you with some items. And basically, this map is split into two very big, long, vertical areas like this. That you can use the barnacle to jump around and kind of, you know, get to new heights and stuff like that. Um, I think this one starts, uh, this is the, uh, the um connector area here between the two so yeah this one is a little bit more blue so the name's a little bit more justified here uh i think i'm going to start on this one though this uh, particular set so the thing about this map is is that the water here isn't just to protect you from falling if you go all the way down from the top um but it actually prevents explosives and certain under particle based weapons from doing everything so it means that you can't exactly just like use the really strong explosive weapons you find and just spam down to the bottom here. You you can do that with the bullet weapon still obviously, but it, it, pre it prevents spamming and lets people that spawn down here get a little bit more of a, a foothold. So now let's take a look here. These are just little like spawn areas, nothing more. But if we start heading up, what we're going to find is that each little area on both sides has one of these uh, alien abscesses to help you get around too. Or you could just use the straight old you know, Barnacle here, obviously, which helps you grab some ammo, and this is where I started. You get the Shock Roach here, good stuff. You can also come down here and get a heal up to the health station. Um, if we move to this side instead, and I should mention my uh, player size, as always, is eight people. Uh, it is pretty bi a big map, but I feel like it's a little too spammy with the Barnacle if you go anything greater than eight, so, you know. What else is new with me? He always has to do eight. What a fool. Anyway, so if you went up here, you can get some more, you get a spore, obviously, and you can get the sniper rifle, everyone's favorite, which can be very effective in this map. This is one of the best weapons in this map for, you know, obviously reasons I don't really need to tell you. So let's head on to the top here. You can uh, jump all the, you can use the um, alien trampoline to get up here, but if you're me, you're just going to use the, uh, just going to use the barnacle. Grab a health kit. And what you're going to see is on these sides, you can, uh, before we go into the little entrances here, you can climb up here to have a little area to hang out and, like, you know, just d d do general tomfoolery. You can also grab a shotgun up here. Always a fun time. But the real fun time is if you go into this little area, which I feel a lot of people overlook for some reason, and go ahead and grab the displacer. And, you know, that's obviously going to bring a bad time on to the people that you shoot that at. I don't really need to tell you that, though. So if you go in the center one instead, this is a little way to get into the other center area. Which is similar to an idea where there's like an elevator into a lower area, but obviously it's from the blue way. We'll talk about that obviously when we get to it. If you were to go this way is another way. I'll talk about these middle areas too because these open up to the other uh, tower. If you go this way, you can get some nice supplies or like, you know, SMG grenades, health stuff like that. Get some uh, like, you know, ammo for your machine gun. And yeah, it leads into the blue area. So because of that, I'm going to jump over here real quick. You can get some grenades. Always fun. Get the spore, which is going to be re fairly plentiful with ammo if you're using your barnacles well. As you can see, the other people are using the barnacles quite a bit, if you can't hear that. Um, if you come back up this way. Yeah, get the spore. Always get the spores. And let's take a look at the other side here. Um, and obviously, it goes without saying, if you know how to use a trampoline really well, you can do some pretty crazy stuff. Like that. 
Yes. So get the machine gun. Also a good pick. Can't go wrong there. Although, since the map's kind of open, not as good as usual. Get a satchel. And I'm going to show you what I mean in a second with the explosives. I don't know if it'll work with the satchel. Well, the satchel still works, but I'm going to show you what I mean with other explosives. Uh, let's try it with the rocket launcher. Yeah, because it's right there. Obviously, if you grab up there, get here up here first, and then to get the charges for your suit, and then kind of, you know, weasel yourself down. Not like that, because I'm an idiot. Or, if you got some fancy work, you can just do this. Momentum yourself up to it. But yeah, see, if I use the rocket launcher here, um, it just gets absorbed by the water. And there's certain other weapons that are like that, too. I don't know if the grenades are like that. Obviously, the satchels aren't. Okay, so everything that's like... Sort of, anything that's not, I know the spore doesn't go through either. Let me try that, just to confirm. Yeah, see, spore gets absorbed, and I believe even that you can't, you know, duck in, like, shoot the shock roach to electrify everyone. So, certain weapons just don't make it through there. I want to see if the displacer doesn't either, though. Okay, even the displacer gets absorbed. So, yeah, that ties back to what I said earlier, where... Um, so, like, you know, it helps to prevent people from just, like, cock-blocking the people that spawn down there. Makes it a little bit fairer. So, yeah, if you come to this side, of course, get the Magnum, and get the Gauze. And obviously, I don't need to tell you, Gauze could be a nice way to get around this map, too. It's not as useful as usual, but still. Especially if you don't fluck it up like that. I'll show you what's down here in, like, last. Um, if you're really good, uh, more so on the other side, because this, as you can see... This little pillar tower thing, if you will, is actually a little bit taller. But you can totally use that trampoline on the other side to get all the way up if you're good with it. So yeah, that's uh, the lower areas. It's similar on this side too. This is where you get the shotgun on this side. Um, it's harder to get up here because it's, the thing's a little bit higher. But you, if you don't know, use the gods or any other way to jump up and you can get some, some ammo for it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and that's obviously where we came from. So let's talk about this area over here, which is really interesting. You got two little disconnected side areas on this map here. You got this area, which is interesting looking, and we'll come back to it later, which you'll... You know, there's also two. I think this is always here. I don't know if I remember if the bots lie that here or not. Um, you got a health kit, obviously, but on this side, you get the SMG, which is surprisingly understated in this map, or underused, I should say. You get a Claymore, always a good time. But yeah, this is the only SMG as far as I'm aware. Which is a bit shocking, because I'm used to maps having like 50 of them. You get the crossbow there too. Although it's a little bit problematic, because it, immediately you're going to buy... If you see, like, you know, grab it, someone's probably shooting at you. You're going to have to use the uh, explosive, like, you know, bolts, which is just never as good. But, you know, if you can get it back out here, it's pretty good as a sniping weapon, obviously, too. And I'll just show this off real quick, see? you got to take the elevator if you want to get up here normally. And now, the final area down here is this little water area. Which, if we go all the way down, leads you to this teleporter. And alongside that, you got a health kit, you got some, um, you know, radiation ammo, whatever you want to call it. And you got good old snark. And this actually leads you to this area here. Where you can be a dick and spam these. And then just run away. For great justice. Um, and yeah, that's about it. That's, uh, Blue Meanie Base, or Blue Meanie, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm relatively fond of it. It's a little bit unorthodox, not quite for everyone. But, you know, if you can get used to the mechanics, you have something extremely solid to play here. Now, I wanted to try to play this one in just vanilla Half-Life proper, but as you can see, JK Body can't quite figure out the map mechanics here. Obviously, what's happening is that it's trying to use... The, uh, Barnacle, because that's the map is telling it that, you know, you have weapons to start out with. But, obviously, JK Body doesn't know that it's an original Half-Life where that doesn't exist. In fact, because you don't get the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The, uh, wrench here, you don't even have a melee weapon. You just start with the pistol. So, yeah, we're not playing this in Half-Life. Though, I'm not sure what I would personally call it if I was going to name it. Obviously, I'm not a fan of the name Blue Meanie, but, uh, like, what would you call this? Bouncy Meanie? Barnacle Meanie? I don't know. I don't even know why it has to be mean. I, the map itself isn't mean. It's the other players trying to kill you who are mean. So, I, I don't know. It's just, it's, I don't get the, like, the idea here. But, you know, that's not the weirdest map name I've ever heard, so, eh. Well, that didn't work. Oi! I wonder how a Neko Arc tastes. Probably very good. I didn't need it, but, you know, still. Oh, shit! Revenge! What is going on? 
Oh, I love the barnacle in this game. Especially with this map, it just gets nuts. Okay, bad idea, bad idea, get away from me. And obviously, since you start with the wrench, you can whack people right in the fucking face if they're trying to latch on to you too much. It's great. Except that my animation got glitched there. I'm not- like, obviously, there's nothing going in my way here. Fuck this. Yeah, I <laughs> just had enough. Yeah, the bots seem to refer to the barnacle too much, but obviously, if you have a shotgun or something, and everyone's too busy focused on everyone else, they're not gonna have a good time. I mean, you start with the pistol, too, so, you know, at least you have some way of dealing with bullet weapons. Oh, shit! Oh, wow, I thought it was about- to... oh, Obviously, be careful if you're gonna take the, um... You know, the alien teleporter on low health, because you'll die from the fall. You just let me do that, huh? Not very bright there! Not very bright. Oh, <laughs> you asshole! Yeah, Blue Meanie, it's great.